Hi, y'all. Happy Fourth of July or Happy Independence Day, however you refer to it. Regardless, wherever you are, I hope you're having a good holiday weekend and staying safe. For me, I kind of took the weekend off from fishing. I went out or a few hours yesterday morning there and just hit the backwater areas, but this weekend, I pretty much just let the pleasure boaters have it because wherever I would want to fish, wakeboarders, yacht club, they're going to be just tearing the water up. So other than the creeks yesterday, I said, heck with it. I'm just going to get some stuff done around the house here. So I thought I'd come on here, do a little update for my regular viewers, show you some projects I'm working on here with my kayaks, and also finish up with a garden tour. It's been a couple weeks. I've had a lot of growth here in the garden. So for those of you who like those videos, I'm going to do an update on that here at the end. So anyway, what I've been doing out here today. So cleaned up the Hobie kayak. I really scrubbed this thing down. That's about as clean as it has been in the last couple years. But the big thing y'all are probably noticing right now is this new accessory right here. That is a Motor Guide XI3 kayak version motor. Now, let's be real here. What is a kayak version of their motor? Basically, all they did was they took their regular XI3 bow mount made for boats, they shortened the shaft down, and they stamped kayak motor on there. That's the only change. And then somebody's shooting off fireworks over here. For those of my viewers who are not in America, how we celebrate our Independence Day here is America's poorest people take what little money they have, they go to the fireworks store, buy some stuff, so they can basically light their money on fire. That's how we celebrate here in America. It makes no sense to me, but it's, hey, it's what we do. Anyway, back to this. So, I've got this Motor Guide XI3 kayak motor. And basically what I've got here is the opportunity to try this motor out risk-free. If I like it, great, I can pay for it. If not, you know, a few weeks, whatever, no risk on my end. So, I thought, what the heck, I'm going to try it out. I'm going to mount it on the Hobie here and and give it a shot so got the motor got the mount here this is a um, on the water metal mount here basically this mount goes in through the handle here and where the straps for your lid uh, bolt in and then your motor mounts onto that with a uh, motor guide quick release plate I don't have the quick release I can't get the words that you know what I'm trying to say I don't have it yet still waiting on that to come in the mail and also the plugs that I need to power it so whenever that stuff gets here hopefully Tuesday is what it's looking like I'm gonna get all this rigged up and um, and get this thing on the water and try it out I'm curious to see how this is gonna go you know I have my old town autopilot here with the Minn Kota motor and I love having the GPS functions on the kayak, you know, spot lock, course heading, be able to record your route, all that stuff. It's awesome. Unfortunately, I don't like that motor. I've had, you know, just the noise of it. It drives my audience insane. I've had numerous complaints from you all about it. And it drives me insane while I'm out on the water, too. Now, this motor guide motor is allegedly a lot quieter from people I know that have this setup. But... It's not without its own issues, especially on the Hobie kayak. So these Hobies, for any of you all who don't have the Hobie Pro Angler, when you're in rough water, if you've got pleasure boat wake, if it's a real windy day and you've got a lot of chop, the bow of the Pro Angler kind of wants to plow through those waves. And when that happens, you get a lot of, wa a lot of water over the bow. Now you're adding on 30 pounds there for the motor so now it's going to be a little bit more pronounced going through them waves getting more over the top the the biggest complaint i've had about this kayak and the time that i've used it is when you're in rough water you end up getting water draining down through here some of it pools gets inside the hole there that that seal there in the front hatch liner is garbage why Hobie hasn't fixed that in all these years, I don't know, but it's garbage. So I'm a little bit concerned about that. So I'm gonna have to do something to seal that off a little better. The other issue is people are, when they're measuring their fish for tournaments and stuff, you're getting water up through the Mirage Drive slot, which then gets in the, the uh, rod tubes. Now you'll notice mine, I've took mine out. I'm gonna seal those off really good. I, I'd sealed them off before when I had the other electric motor on this kayak, but I'm gonna just redo the silicone around all that and put new plugs to be able to do the wiring and all that. So anyway, that's what I've been working on. That's what you're gonna see in some upcoming videos. 
hopefully soon you know again i'm just waiting on the rest of the pieces here to get everything installed so i'm gonna get out there and try it because again i got nothing to lose if it works out great if not well i'll just send the motor back no no big deal the other kayak here of my new one the old town big water i've got pretty much everything done on it that i'm going to be doing for the time being i got my gear track installed on these plates so i can put my camera mounts and fish finder i've got my front rod holders mounted the bases down through the hole got those bolted in so those are solid on there and that's pretty much all i'm going to do with this kayak for now because again i'm just going to be using it for bass tournaments that don't allow motors and just catfishing later on this winter once they drop our water levels down so still several months away from that so i don't really need anything else on it at the present time so right now this is the the big project at hand this dog here he don't give a crap he's bored out of his mind i've put him to sleep hey you want to say hi to the audience hey tell him hi he ain't gonna talk to you he ain't got nothing to say tonight he says i'm talking enough for both of us so anyway for those of you that like my garden videos let's go over here and check it out because i've had a lot of growth over here in uh, the last couple weeks since we've done an update so since the last update you can for those of you who watch you can see the growth i've had now i'm starting to get tomatoes pretty much every day i've got cherry tomatoes that's all i've planted down through here but my plants they are you know four five six foot tall all of them here and i've got my fence post mounted I've got everything staked up here so when the wind when we get storms the wind usually comes in from this direction so i've got everything tied this way so they don't get blown over but i need to get me some more uh, twine here and get everything tied up a little taller but again as you can see though i need to do some picking tonight here but i'm getting it ain't look over here. it ain't even dark yet people shooting off these fireworks i'm telling you they just light their money on fire makes no sense but uh again here all my tomatoes looking good the peppers they're growing really well too i've got banana peppers i need to pick some of them too but i'm getting banana peppers pretty much every day now i'm getting some bell peppers growing i haven't picked any yet but you can see they're starting to get bigger right there's one looks like a bug has got that one doggone it but i've got some more here they're all starting to grow got blooms and stuff so be getting some bell peppers soon my poblanos down here they're getting some blooms on them i believe yeah i'm getting little i'm getting little poblanos here too they've bloomed and, and starting to grow so it won't be much longer i'll be getting those cucumbers have really taken off um, this for those of you who may not have seen my garden updates before this section of the fencing here was planted first those uh, a little bit later on so this has had a lot more growth and i'm getting cucumbers pretty regularly off here now and i've just trained them to to climb up this fencing so that it keeps the walkway clear here it doesn't get all i just think it looks better and it's easier easier to maintain when it's growing up instead of sprawling out so i'm going to uh just let them keep doing their thing and and these right here will start coming in here pretty soon and then i'll have more cucumbers than i know what to do with this here was a pepper plant some dog named roscoe over there pretty sure he was the culprit that killed it it got broke off at the stem and i'm guessing the only reason that happened was probably because he was chasing some cat or squirrel or something through the garden i blame him but i have no video proof so he's innocent until proven guilty but i know he did it my sunflowers you can see here man they're getting tall these things are mostly six to eight foot tall they're starting to get some blooms up here on them so those are going to be this one right here is real tall that, that one right there is probably eight foot tall so it won't be too much longer and they're going to be blooming i had a plant down here this is pretty interesting this plant it's like these two these two stalks here these two plants it's like they were conjoined down here like siamese siamese sunflowers or something that may be a common thing i don't know that's the first time i've ever seen it in my garden but i'm curious to see this one here is going to have a, a flower on it this one doesn't have a bloom yet so i don't know if it's just going to be like part stalk or what but i'm curious to see if i get a, 
a Siamese sunflower with two blooms. We'll see. It's the little things that amaze me, people. Now over here, don't pay too much attention to this section of the garden. You can see the weeds. I'm way behind on getting this section hoed and weeded here, so I'm embarrassed. I'm truly embarrassed to have this on video right now. But my zucchini's all doing good. I've gotten a little zucchini here. Here's another one. That'll be ready to pick tomorrow. I picked some zucchini earlier. But these zucchini, you know, you blink your eyes and they're ready to be picked. And all these plants are all mature now. They're putting out zucchini pretty much every day. These over here were planted later, and so they're just now starting to produce a little bit. Here's another one. I could probably go ahead and pick that one. Um, these down here will start producing soon. So zucchini, easiest plant to grow in a garden, and they just produce and produce and produce. You almost get sick of it. We're about sick of zucchini here already. Now my melon patch and pumpkin patch, we got big developments going on. So I've, I've, I've weeded out my pumpkins down to three plants and they've all got pumpkins on them. These are, that's a little bigger than softball size and these over here are getting pretty big too. So, you know, that's, I don't know, volleyball size almost, maybe a little smaller than that. But regardless, they're doing really well. My watermelon patch here, you can see I got a little baby watermelon on that one. But over here, I've got some bigger ones. This watermelon's getting bigger. That's almost football size. And then up here, I've got two watermelons that are football size. So won't be too terribly much longer, and we'll be getting us some, getting us some watermelons out of here. And this area here, you know, it's just going to be. I'm not really doing much with the weeds here because these vines, they're just going to take over everything here before long and sprawl out, and they'll just kind of. There'll be weeds in there, but it won't be that big a deal. So, uh, yeah, guys, that's my garden, man. It's been a, like I said, I'm, I'm embarrassed. I've slacked off here on my zucchini weeding and all that, but it's starting. We're at that point now where I'm, you know, getting vegetables every day. It's really producing well, especially the tomatoes and the banana peppers. And once the bell peppers, we're, we're not far away from them and they'll be producing every day too. Same with the cucumbers. Once once these plants mature enough here to where they start really producing the cucumbers, because down here on these, they, the, this area here from the few plants that there are, it looks really full, but we had a late frost that killed part of my plants. So that's very few plants right there. And I'm already, you can see how much this has taken over. This was a lot more plants on this side. So. Uh, once they start maturing again, they're going to be, we're going to have more cucumbers than we know what to do with. But, uh, you know, this is my other hobby. A lot of you that watch my videos, you all like tinkering in a garden too. And so I'm just kind of bringing you all with me this summer and sharing this experience and letting you all watch it grow out here with me. So, uh, again, there it is. Everything getting big, especially them sunflowers. I love them sunflowers. They, uh, you know, I don't really do nothing with them other than just enjoy them, enjoy how they look, but uh, I like having them in my garden. So uh, anyway, y'all, that's the update here for July 4th weekend. Kind of just been piddling around. I've got two videos, two fishing videos scheduled coming up this coming week. Again, I just kind of this weekend not done much because of the pleasure boat traffic and I had some bad trips that you not worth seeing, not worth me posting a video on this past week. So a little bit behind on the video production schedule, but hopefully it'll, as we get through the spawn here, the bite will start to pick back up and I can get back on pace. It's just been, you know, fishing sucks right now. And it's a damn shame because right now we're at peak views on YouTube for fishing channels and I can't hardly catch any fish to put out some videos. But uh, yeah, guys, that's what's going on. Roscoe. You want to tell them happy 4th of July? Happy Independence Day? Will you talk to the camera? You have to talk to the camera. There you go. There you go. That's Roscoe P. Coltrane. He says, we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.